Hey guys, I want to take the time and kind of point out to you guys a glaring contradiction that people who believe that you can be saved today and not tomorrow through some sort of working of your own, whether you call it once saved, always saved, eternal security, perseverance of the saints, preservation of the saints, whatever terminology that you want to use, we know what we're talking about. People who are saved today and aren't tomorrow. People who can know Christ today and walk away. Well, there's an argument that's made that is so contradictory and for whatever reason does not get fully vetted. No one talks about. I want to bring that up. When we talk about election and predestination as a reason why a person cannot lose their salvation, cannot forfeit eternal security, is because God chose them from the very beginning. Well, one of the arguments that people make, many of them make, no one seems to really give them any pushback on this in comparison to something else they say. Now, before I go to this argument, though, keep in mind that you'll often hear them bring up over and over and over again, not often, but always at some point in time, if you let them talk long enough, they'll tell you that a person's name can be blotted out of the book of life. They'll reference passages that aren't even talking about the book of life, but are talking about the book of living. Another way of putting it, they can die. That's what God, that's how God refers to it in the Old Testament. But let's just say their point is correct. Now, I want you to follow me. If their contention is correct, that you can have your name blotted out of the book of life, meaning God wrote a person's name in the book of life for salvation. This person will have their name blotted out because of sin, because of iniquity. And so God will blot their name out. In other words, I know metaphorically speaking, God writes their name then comes back and erases their name. Are you with me? That's what they believe, that a person can have their name blotted out. Well, let's see if that's not contradictory in something else they believe. In Romans 8, 29, we talk about how God had predestined some. Uh, he elected, he chose, and I want to read it and then let's cover their arguments. It says, for those whom he foreknew, he also predestined, to be conformed to the image of his son in order that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Now, their view is that God looked throughout history and saw that these people are going to choose him. And they take this word for new, which, by the way, is a misunderstanding of the word that he knew ahead of time what they were going to do. He knew that they were going to choose him. And so for that reason, on that basis, God elects him, God predestines him, which nullifies the word for predestined in the first place. Also the point of election, they missed that. But let's just say they're right. Let's say on both counts, they are correct. God looks throughout time and sees who is going to choose him. And those are the people whom he predestines. Those are the people whom he elects. Okay, you with me? Take that and compare it to someone having their name blotted out. If you look at it, you'll notice something, a contradiction. That cannot be. How is it that God sees what you are going to do, that you're going to choose him, and then because of that, he elects you, he predestines you, then he can somehow come back and blot your name out? Are you with me? God looks through history, sees that you are going to choose him, and so he writes your name in the book, in the book of life. But then your actions causes, because of sin, causes him to come back and to blot your name out. Well, then how could that be after he saw that because you chose him, he chooses you, writes your name down. But he doesn't see far enough to see that you're also going to deny him, walk away. And so he has to come back and he has to blot your name out. God, what's going on? What's happening, Lord? You didn't. Is it that your omniscience? is limited. You can only see, but so far you can see when they choose you, but you don't see far enough to know that they're also going to reject you. There's the contradiction, guys. It can't, both of those cannot be true, that he foreknows who's going to choose him. And so thus he writes their name in the book of life. And then further, they are going to reject them. And so he comes back and blots their name out. How then did he elect anyone? There's a contradiction, which is another reason why the belief that a person who can forfeit their salvation through their own sin, walk away, whatever terminology you want to use, that's the that's the lunacy. That's the 
uh, contradiction of it. That's how unbiblical that stance is. Amen. Amen.